Christianity and paganism symbols. During the roughly 12 centuries of ancient Roman civilization, religion developed from homegrown, pantheistic animism, which was incorporated into the early institutions of the city. As the Romans moved through a republic to an empire, the Romans absorbed the Greek pantheon of pagan gods and goddesses, adopted foreign cults, practiced emperor worship before finally embracing Christianity. Though by some standards deeply religious, ancient Romans approached spirituality and faith differently from most modern believers. Throughout its history, the concept of Newman, an all-pervasive divinity or spirituality, pervades Roman religious philosophy. However, like many pagan faiths, success in Roman life was equated with having a good relationship with the Roman gods and goddesses. Maintaining this incorporated both mystical prayer and business-like sacrifices in exchange for material benefit. The Deities of Rome Roman gods and goddesses fulfilled different functions corresponding to various aspects of life. There were many gods in Latium, the region in Italy where Rome was founded, some of which were Italic, Etruscan, and Sabine. In Roman belief, immortal gods ruled heaven, earth, and the underworld. As Roman territory grew, its pantheon expanded to include the pagan gods, goddesses, and cults of newly conquered and contacted peoples, so long as they fit in with the Roman culture. For instance, Roman exposure to Hellenic culture via Greek presence in Italy and the later Roman conquest of the city-states of Macedonia and Greece caused the Romans to adopt many Greek myths. The major gods of ancient Roman religion the Roman pagan gods and goddesses were grouped in various ways. The De Select was considered the 20 main gods, while the De Consentes comprised the 12 major Roman gods and goddesses at the heart of the Roman pantheon. Though taken from the Greeks, this grouping of 12 Roman gods and goddesses has pre-Hellenic origins, probably in the religions of peoples from the Lycian and Hittite regions of Anatolia. The three main Roman gods and goddesses, known as the Capitoline Triad, are Jupiter, Juno, and Minerva. The Capitoline Triad replaced the archaic triad of Jupiter, Mars, and earlier Roman god Quirinus, who originated in Sabine mythology. The gilt statues of the De Consentes XII adorned Rome's central forum. The six gods and six goddesses were sometimes arranged in male-female couples, Jupiter Juno, Neptune Minerva, Mars Venus, Apollo Diana, Vulcan Vesta, and Mercury Ceres. Below is a list each of the following De Consentes had a Greek counterpart, noted in parenthesis. 1. Jupiter, Zeus, supreme king of the gods, Roman god of the sky and thunder, and patron god of Rome. Jupiter was a son of Saturn, brother to Neptune, Pluto, and Juno, to whom he was also husband. Saturn had been warned that one of his children would overthrow him and began swallowing his children. On their release after a trick by Jupiter's mother Opis, Jupiter, Neptune, Pluto, and Juno overthrew their father. The three brothers divided control of the world, and Jupiter took control of the sky. 2. Juno, Hera queen of the Roman gods and goddesses. Saturn's daughter Juno was the wife and sister of Jupiter, and sister of Neptune and Pluto. She was the mother of Juventus, Mars, and Vulcan. Juno was the patron goddess of Rome, but was also attributed with several epithets, amongst them Juno Sospita, protector of those awaiting childbirth, Juno Lucina, goddess of childbirth, and Juno Manita, protecting the funds of Rome. The first Roman coins were said to be minted in the temple of Juno Manita. 3. Minerva, Athena, Roman goddess of wisdom, arts, trade, and strategy. Minerva was born of the head of Jupiter after he swallowed her mother Mates, having been told that the child he had impregnated her with could be more powerful than he. Mates created a commotion by making armor and weapons for her daughter inside of Jupiter, and the god demanded that his head be split open to end the noise. 4. Neptune Poseidon brother of Jupiter, Pluto, and Juno, Neptune was the Roman god of fresh water and the sea, along with earthquakes, hurricanes, and horses. Neptune is often depicted as an older man with a trident, sometimes being pulled across the sea in a horse-drawn chariot. 5. Venus, Aphrodite mother of the Roman people, Venus was the Roman goddess of love, beauty, fertility, sex, desire, and prosperity, equal to her Greek counterpart, Aphrodite. She was also, however, goddess of victory and even prostitution, and patron of wine. Venus was born from the foam of the sea after Saturn castrated his father Uranus into it. Venus is said to have had two main lovers, Vulcan, her husband and the god of fire, and Mars. 6. 
Mars Aries according to Ovid, Mars was the son of Juno alone, as his mother sought to restore balance after Jupiter usurped her role as mother by giving birth to Minerva from his head. Famously the Roman god of war, Mars was also the guardian of agriculture and the embodiment of virility and aggression. He was Venus' lover in adultery and the father of Romulus, founder of Rome and Remus. 7. Apollo Apollo the Archer Son of Jupiter and Latona, twin of Diana. Apollo was the Roman god of music, healing, light, and truth. Apollo is one of only a few Roman gods who kept the same name as his Greek counterpart. Emperor Constantine was said to have had a vision of Apollo. The emperor used the god as one of his key symbols until his Christian conversion. 8. Diana, Artemis, daughter of Jupiter and Latona and twin of Apollo. Diana was the Roman goddess of the hunt, the moon, and birth. To some Diana was also considered to be the goddess of lower classes, especially slaves, for whom her festival on the Ides of August in Rome and Arachia was also a holiday. 9. Vulcan Hephaestus the Roman god of fire, volcanoes, metalwork, and the forge, maker of the weapons of the gods. In some mythology, Vulcan is said to have been banished from the heavens as a child because of a physical defect. Hidden in the base of a volcano, he learned his trade. When Vulcan built Juno, his mother, a trap as revenge for his banishment his father, Jupiter, offered him Venus as a wife, in exchange for Juno's freedom. It was said that Vulcan had a forge under Mount Etna, and that whenever his wife was unfaithful, the volcano became volatile. Because of his position as the deity of destructive fire, Vulcan's temples were regularly located outside cities. 10. Vesta Hestia Roman goddess of the hearth, home, and domestic life. Vesta was a daughter of Saturn and Ops and sister to Jupiter, Juno, Neptune, and Pluto. She was enshrined in the sacred and perpetually burning fire of the Vestal Virgins, all female and Rome's only full-time priesthood. 11. Mercury, Hermes son of Maya and Jupiter, Roman god of profit, trade, eloquence, communication, travel, trickery, and thieves. He is often depicted carrying a purse, a nod to his association with trade. He also often had wings, just as Hermes does in Greek mythology. Mercury was a Roman psychopomp, tasked with guiding the souls of the dead to the underworld. When the nymph Larinda betrayed Jupiter's trust by revealing one of his affairs to his wife, Mercury was to take her to the underworld. However, he fell in love with the nymph on the route and she had two children with him. 12. Ceres, Meter the Eternal Mother. Ceres is the daughter of Saturn and Ops. She was the Roman goddess of agriculture, grain, women, motherhood, and marriage, and the lawgiver. It was suggested that the cycle of seasons coincided with Ceres' mood. The months of winter were the period in which her daughter, Proserpina, was obligated to live in the underworld with Pluto, having eaten a pomegranate, the fruit of the underworld. Ceres' happiness at her daughter's return allowed plants to grow through spring and summer, but in autumn she began to dread her daughter's absence, and plants shed their crop. 